Are you struggling every season? Stuck in ultra? Trying to reach masters? Well, you're not alone. Because, believe it or not, you're in the same boat as 65% of the player base. But here's the thing, people. What if I said that you could do it with only three Pokemon? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to break out of that rank and hit masters in under 24 hours. So sit back, relax, baby, enjoy them damn snacks while I show you what three Pokemon you need to succeed. Enjoy. So first up, we got Mammal Swine. And let me tell you, I mean, this Pokemon flew under the radar for so long, but as y'all seen in Worlds, people are finally realizing just how strong he really is. So if you take Mammo with A9 into lane, y'all gonna do that icy thing. And he gonna excel at locking down enemies with Ice Fang. But you gotta go Muscle Band Rapid Scar Fights with that attack speed. So that way you can be doing a massive ass stun. I mean like every few seconds, someone on the enemy team is either frozen or knocked up. Or it's damn near impossible for them to play. You know what I'm saying? Look, look what the hell he gonna, what would you do dog? Damn. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? So if you like diving in the fight, stunning shit, and catching doves, baby, then go ahead and choose Mammo. But, you know, if you rather do some massive damage at a long range and striking lightning fast, I mean, then we gotta move on to the next Pokemon, which is Pikachu number two. Now, Pikachu did get some recent buffs, making him a lot more dangerous than ever. Right, Volt Tackle, now I got that movement speed going on when you land. So now that I let you dive in a lot more aggressively, stun your enemies and disengage them just as fast. Like, dive in quickly with Volt Tackle, then follow up with Thunderbolt. Like, you keeping your enemies locked down. And thanks to them cooldown buffs, boy, you gonna spam these in this bit. I played in. It gets even better, bro, with his Unite move that got that buff. It, like, hits double or hits two people now simultaneously. That Like, bro, I hop in, hit that shit, hit Vo Tackle, hit Thunder, bro. Like, at least two, three people dead at that point. So if you all about fast gameplay like I am, doing tons of damage from a range and shit, having mobility on your side, I mean, I'm gonna say Pikachu's right for you. But even with Pikachu's damage though, and even though Mammo be diving in and stunning shit, like things probably still may not go your way. And I understand that you probably be like, damn, Wally, this shit ain't working. Well, if that's the case, don't even trip because this next Pokemon gonna be just right for you. And you know who we bring to the crew? <laughs> Slowbro, baby. Now, look, look, I know people are already going to have something to say about this, but look, hear me out. Listen, Slurbro is truly the definition of what it means to be a defender, okay? And to me, truly, his secret rep in the scale right now, right? Like, hands down, for real. Because right now, scale got that buff, and he used to do, like, 40% attack damage deduction or reduction, and now it's doing 60%. Like, you hit a motherfucker with scale, bro, they thinking they, they hit X attack, they about to go and do something, and cut it out. We ain't doing it. I'm done. Take me off. Take me off. And I'm going to end this off with his Unite move. Like, his Unite move literally is the most powerful Unite move in the game, hands down. It counters everybody. You think you about to pull up? Poop! Slow down. Yo, my whole team about to jump you. What are you talking about? Got it. <laughs> Just one well-timed slow, bro. Oh, can turn your whole team fight upside down in your favor. You know what I mean? So if you like being the backbone for your team and holding down a fuck, Shoot, then I'm gonna say Slowbro is the best for you to climb the ranks. It worked for me, it could work for you too. Don't know how much I sacrificed! No! You might be asking yourself, aren't there other strong Pokemon out there? And I'm gonna be honest, y'all be right. Gengar got a huge ass buff. That fool out there doing some crazy ass work right now. Sylveon just got that rework on Hyper Voice. You taking up a whole goddamn lane. Like, what the hell is that, right? But here's the catch, right? Most players get so caught up in dealing damage, man, and they overlook the one thing that makes the game good, support, right? Like, you can always carry a damage. You see people do 150k, 200k damage, and they're still losing. Why? Because they didn't have a defender. Why? Because they didn't have someone that wanted to support the team and didn't care about doing damage and just wanted to win. So for me, Mammo, Pikachu, Slowbro are my top picks. Like, they not just focused on just simply raw damage and, like, controlling the battlefield. Like, they all about making game-winning plays, man, and, and making your team the best that it can. We do not care. 
I love y'all, man. And if those wasn't working out for you, don't even trip. Because right here, I done got one for you. And I guarantee if you use them, you're going to have a lot of damage on your hands. But before you go, did y'all see my nails? Oh, they look so pretty. They all pink and purty. Oh, my God. Chilling with the crew now. Finally, I have a work is about to go down. Glad I have some money, make them all proud. Doing what I love on the playground. Because I've been riding on the new.